Hi, I'm Ollie. In this video we're going to have a quick look at the latest firmware update for the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. First thing I'll show you is the actual version number of the, uh, of the firmware. So you can just have a quick look at that. First major change that, uh, that stood out to me, if you flip the notification bar down, you've actually got this brightness adjuster here. So you can turn auto mode off, change the brightness from there and tick auto back on. Uh, personally I'd rather them uh, put a bit more precision into the auto brightness but overall that's uh, that's a bonus. Next thing I noticed is uh, if you hold down the power button for a lung press you've actually got these options at the bottom so you can change it to uh, no vibrate and no uh, noise at all just vibrate and sound on and if you've got vibrate turned on that will work as well. Um, another function we've, uh, we've got here if I just ring my answering machine to demonstrate it when the call actually connects, you get a little button pop up at the side here. If you tick that, extra volume enabled, which uh, which gives you the opportunity to uh, to make the call even louder. So if it's a bad line, that will be uh, be quite useful. Just end that call. Next thing I, uh, I notice is if we go to the menu button here and go into call settings. I don't think this was here before. You've got the option to uh, display the extra volume or not display it. But also we've got uh, we've got in call sound vol uh, equalizer. So in the call you can put soft sound, clear sound, personalized for the left ear or the right ear. Uh, I haven't really played around with those, but uh, more functionality is always good. And we can uh, we can do the personalized equalizer as well and uh, and use that that way. I've also got this here, increased volume in pocket, which I'm presuming it uses one of the proximity sensors to detect whether or not the uh, the phone's in your pocket and increases the uh, the volume accordingly. So if we go into your camera, not going to be able to see much because uh, obviously I've got it, the camera uh, face down, but we've got this magic wand tool here. So we've got various modes in there for uh, for when you're taking a picture, which is quite useful. The uh, the swipe the swipe feature has been in, improved, which is uh, which is another bonus. Not something I use personally, but again, a lot of people do uh, do use that. The uh, home screen redraw. So if you just go back to there, we're getting redraw issues when it uh, went back to the home screen. That seems to have uh, disappeared, which is uh, again a bonus. If I just go into the uh, the settings. Under display, we've actually got adjust screen tone. Uh, I believe before that was uh, adjust screen power, so it looks like they're tweaking the uh, the tone uh, as opposed to the overall brightness of the screen. Uh, and one of the final things I noticed is now with the background, it's actually a continuous background. So as many screens as you've actually got, you can flip between and the background will move left to right. I believe if you use the uh, standard messaging app and also uh, phone dialer application you can also uh, have a background on there and uh, and also some users were uh, reporting uh, issues with sound crackling which is uh, apparently gone um, when you plug uh, plug headphones in you actually have the option now so you can choose whether or not you're uh, you're notified um, from the notification bar that you've got headphones plugged in so you can choose that because i know that annoyed some users um, so all in all a, a pretty decent firmware update, uh, haven't really noticed any difference in speed um, but overall uh, it seems like a step forward. Um, so if you're interested in, uh, in tips like this, um, Samsung Galaxy S3 case reviews, next review I've got coming up is this bat that I've just, uh, just received. Um, so as you can see that uh, jazzes the, uh, the phone up quite a bit, They're available in 10 different colours so uh, I'm going to be putting some reviews out like that shortly so if you're interested in things like that please subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.